Okay. All right, I am the plaintiff's attorney, Mr. Bell. I am the witness. I am the court. And I am for the defense, Ms. Turner. Ready? Back on the record in People versus Gomez, are we ready to proceed? Yes, Your Honor. My next witness is here and we are ready to go. All right. Are we going to be taking a witness out of order? Yes, Your Honor. If there is no objection by counsel, that's what I would like to do. I don't have any problem with that. I understand the officer is going out of town and I think we can finish her testimony today. All right. Let's proceed and bring the jury in. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be proceeding with the People's Case in Chief. Call your witness. Thank you, Your Honor. The people call Officer Blake as the next witness. Officer, please step forward and state your full name for the record. Alice Blake, B-L-A-K-E. Thank you. Okay, let's proceed. Officer Blake, by whom are you employed? I am an officer with the Garden Grove Police Department. How long have you been so employed? I have been with that department for 15 years. Were you employed as a police officer prior to Garden Grove? Yes, I was a police officer in Northern California prior to relocating down here. How many years total have you been employed in law enforcement? 24 years altogether. Now I want to ask you about an interview that you conducted of a witness in this case. Were you on duty on the date of March 8, 2006? Yes, I was. Were you directed out to the scene of a shooting on that date? Correct. I was dispatched to the scene to assist Sergeant York. I have a diagram I would like to mark at this time next in order. It may be so marked. Your Honor, if I may have a minute with counsel? Yes, that's fine. Thank you, Your Honor. I just wanted to make sure that I had the same exhibit that counsel had. This was part of the evidence that was in the discovery. Counsel, I don't want to have this discussion in the presence of the jury. My apologies. Thank you, Your Honor. We all have copies now. Proceed. Officer Blake, are you familiar with what this depicts? Yes, it is a diagram of the area of the shooting. It shows the neighborhood and the school. Are you familiar with this area that is shown in the diagram? Yes, I am. Have you had occasion to patrol that area as an officer for the Garden Grove Police Department? Yes, I have. Are you familiar with the schools that are located in that neighborhood? Yes, I am. There is a high school right next to this location where the shooting took place. There is also an elementary school down the street a few blocks. As an officer for the city, are you routinely called out to the school for problems that may occur? The high school is in the part of the city where I routinely patrol. They have a campus officer present every day and sometimes I drive by and check things out. Have you had calls for service to that neighborhood behind the high school? Yes, absolutely. Are they always related to the high school? Not always. It is a regular neighborhood where you have calls for assistance. They have had robberies and burglaries in the neighborhood. There are also domestic calls and things not related to the school. On the date of March 8, were you called to the scene of a shooting? Objection asked and answered. All right, sustained. You testified that you were sent to assist Sergeant York. What did that consist of? I arrived in the neighborhood behind the school and contacted Sergeant York. What did that consist of? There was a shooting and Sergeant York was in charge of the scene. I reported to him and he asked me to interview a couple of the witnesses. When you arrived, Sergeant York was obviously already at the scene. Yes, there were several officers at the scene. There was also paramedics and a fire engine there as well. What did you observe when you first arrived? The paramedics were working on a young man who was laying in the street. There were probably five or six units blocking off the street to the traffic and officers were setting up a perimeter. What do you mean by setting up a perimeter? We want to cordon off the area so we can secure the scene. We don't want the public to be walking through an area where we are going to be trying to collect evidence for the case. Is this what we commonly see with the tape blocking off travel through the scene? Yes, it is just to keep people out until we have had a chance to investigate the crime. You testified that Sergeant York had you interview witnesses. Who was it that you talked to on that day? I spoke to the residents in the corner house and also some of the students who were walking out of the school that afternoon. Do you remember the address of the house where you conducted your interviews? I would have to review my report. I have no objection if the officer wants to review the report. With the court's permission. That's fine. Let's proceed. The address is 1535 Walker. Who did you speak to at that location? I spoke to a woman who was renting a room in the house 
at 1535. I also spoke to the homeowner when he arrived. When you spoke to the woman, what did she tell you? Objection calls for a narrative. Sustained. Next question. Tell us about your interview with the woman. First of all, what is her name? Her name is Sharon Baker. Is she the woman who made the 911 call? Objection. No foundation. All right. I assume this is the foundation for the interview. Overruled. Did Miss Baker make an emergency call that afternoon to report a possible shooting? Yes, she absolutely did. Did you identify yourself as an officer for Garden Grove when you met with her? Yes, that's correct. I was in uniform like I am today. I inquired if I could ask her some questions and she brought me into her home for that purpose. What did you ask her? I asked her what prompted her to make the call to 911 and she began to relay what she had had observed that afternoon outside her home. What did she tell you at that time? Objection hearsay. It is not offered for the truth. It's offered for the thought process of the officer after the interview. Okay, overruled. Officer, you may answer the question. She reported to me that she heard some yelling outside her home that afternoon. She looked out her window and saw a fight starting. Did you ask the witness if she knew the people in the street? Yes, I did. What did she say? She informed me she sees them all the time coming and going to school, but that she doesn't actually know the children personally. How old of a woman is Ms. Baker? Objection. Irrelevant. Overruled. I didn't ask her age. Does she have children that attend the school? She has two children attending the high school. Was she able to identify the people in the street to you that afternoon? She initially gave me the names of some of the people she observed in front of her residence. Was she able to identify the young victim who was shot? Yes, she said that his name was Jeffrey and that he was a friend of her son's. Who else was she able to identify? She said that there were two juveniles she had observed previously and they were trying to help Jeffrey before the police arrived. Did she provide you names for those possible witnesses? She didn't know their names. Did Ms. Baker tell you how long it took her to call 911 after she saw the altercation in front of her residence? She said that she called shortly thereafter. Were you able to get her to approximate the time? Her best estimate was within five minutes. What was she able to tell you that she observed prior to calling 911? The witness reported that she initially heard the fight starting and proceeded to the front window and observed them fighting. What did she observe from the window? She saw several kids throwing punches and fighting. She then saw the defendant come around the corner and be and firing a weapon. How many shots did she see or hear? She thought she heard five shots, but she wasn't positive. And what happened after she heard the shots? She saw the defendant take off down the street and run into the yard of one of the houses across the street. Your Honor, I would like to mark this photograph as next in order. It may be so marked. I would like to display the photo to the jury at this time. Is there any objection? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Just make sure that you display the board where everyone is able to see it. Officer, do you recognize this photograph? Yes, that's the residence where the defendant ran. Did you proceed to that home to interview anyone there? Yes, but there was no answer to the door. Nothing further at this time. How long do you anticipate for your cross-examination? Not too long, Your Honor. I think I can finish it up before the break. All right, let's proceed. Good morning, Officer Blake. Good morning. Do you know the time you were initially dispatched to the scene? If I could review my report, then I would be able to refresh my recollection. That's fine. I arrived at the shooting at 3.15. Is that when you made contact with Sergeant York? Within a few minutes of my arrival. Now, you took your direction from Sergeant York, is that correct? Yes, exactly. Did the sergeant advise you anything about the case when you arrived? Nothing specific. It was obvious that there was a shooting because we had a victim in the street. Did someone advise you it was a shooting or did you just assumed that? I believe the dispatch reported it as a shooting. I knew that before I arrived there. All right. Did Sergeant York direct you to the corner house where Sharon Baker resided? Yes, that's correct. Do you remember what time you spoke to her? It would be within minutes of arriving at the scene. Do you have that information reflected in your report or in your notes? Yes, it was 3.45 when I spoke to Ms. Baker. And how long was that conversation? I would estimate 15 minutes, maybe 20. What was her demeanor when you spoke to her? She was very upset and was crying a little bit. You may have testified to this, but I have forgotten. Did you conduct your interview with her inside her home or, or outside of her home? It was inside. She invited me in and we spoke in the living room. Was there anyone else present when you began interviewing her? Yes, her son was also present in the living room. Was her son there the whole time you spoke to her? Yes. 
Did you actually question her son at all, or just Miss Baker? I directed my questions to the mother. I may have asked him if he was okay or if he needed anything, but I didn't question him regarding the shooting. Do you believe that maybe you, you should have questioned him? Objection. Argumentative. Sustained. What did Sergeant York say to you when he directed you to that house? He told me to interview the witnesses that were standing in the driveway. Did he give you any names or anything like that? No, he advised me there was a woman that resided there and that she had made the 911 call. Now, you said witnesses plural in your earlier answer. Who was the other witness that you were to interview? I also spoke to the homeowner. He was there to collect the rent. So he just happened to be present, or did you notify him? No, I didn't notify anyone. There were two people standing next to the residence, and I contacted them both. Is it your practice to question anyone that is present at a crime scene? Objection. Called for speculation. Sustained. As an officer, are you instructed in how to conduct investigations? Yes. Are you trained in who to look to for information at a possible crime scene? That's correct. When Sharon Baker told you that her son knew the victim, why didn't you talk to the son? Objection. Assumes facts, not in evidence. All right. Sustained. Did Miss Baker report to you her son knew the victim? Yes, she did. Was her son present when she reported that? Yes, he certainly was. And you had no questions for him, did you? Not at that time. What is this young man's name? Kevin. Did you ever ask him any questions about his friend who was shot? No, I didn't. Don't you think that might have been important to ask him what he observed? Objection. Argumentative. Sustained. Your Honor, I would like to be heard. Sidebar. No, your objection was sustained. Let's just proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. You testified that you are familiar with that area from your years of patrolling the neighborhood. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. Have you ever been dispatched to the Baker home before that day for a shooting? Yes, I have. All right, I will come back to that in a minute. When you were speaking with Sharon Baker, did you inquire whether she had seen the shots or just heard them? I don't remember making that distinction. She reported that she heard five shots and that she observed the confrontation. You testified that she told you that my client came around the corner with a weapon in his hand. Is that correct? Yes. When you talked about coming around the corner, which corner on this diagram were you speaking of? She reported that he traveled from the north and fired the handgun. In looking at the diagram, could you draw a line depicting the path of travel? Certainly. She reported to me he traveled from the school and then continued down the sidewalk. Did she tell you she witnessed him from the front? In other words, did she actually see his face as he was walking toward the altercation? She said that she saw the profile of his face as he ran past her window and then fired the handgun. When she heard the gunshots being fired, did she notice where they were coming from? She told me that the defendant's arm was extended. He was firing the weapon at the vehicle. Did she actually see my client fire the weapon, or did she only hear the gunshots? She heard five gunshots and witnessed the victim falling to the asphalt. You testified you were also directed to another residence across the street. Correct. You testified there wasn't anyone home at the, that residence. Is that correct? Yes. Did you leave a card for them to contact you when they returned? No, I did not. Is there a reason why you didn't do that? Objection. Argumentative and irrelevant. Sustained. In the past, have you ever left a card for someone to contact you if they have any information? It depends on the case and what my role is in the investigation. You were one of the investigators in this case, were you not? I was there to assist Sergeant York. There were detectives assigned to the case at a later time to conduct the investigation. You are not a detective, correct? That's right. How would you describe your role in this investigation? Objection. Asked and answered. Overruled. I was first sent to the scene to assist my sergeant. Nothing further. 